Hello everyone. Uh, this is Samita Gupta. Welcome you all for lecture seven, VZT input output characteristics using virtual eleven LT spice. So first of all, we will start LT spice. In LT spice, uh, wait a minute. Uh, file new synaptic. Now for VZT input output characteristics, first of all we have to draw the circuit. Circuit can be drawn by this. This AND gate symbol, it is uh, for the components. Click on this. Now we want transistor and PN. Okay. See, click on here. Now uh, our uh, mouse cursor will be uh, BZT. So for uh, removing it, we have to press command SK. Okay. Now next we want resistance. Don't press it. If you want to rotate, so press control R. And connect here. I am taking two resistors. Again, escape command to remove it. Now I want voltage. So type here voltage. Okay. Then one voltage at input side, one voltage at output side. Now escape to remove this. Now this pan shape. This is the wire. So how to connect? Suppose I want to connect this resistance this voltage, just click on this and click on this. Connect simply. Click on this voltage and click on this resistance here. Okay, now take this ground, connect here, connect here. Either you can connect directly or you can drag it by the wire. Okay. And then connect this ground or directly you can connect. Okay. Now this is the circuit. So if you want to select another transistor, you can take pick new transistor and here the list of the transistor. Okay. Suppose I am taking VS uh, VC547. If anyone you can pick. That's your choice. Okay. Uh, now see, I want to give the value of resistance. Uh, suppose I am taking here uh, whatever, uh, suppose 10k, for 10k or 1000 ohm, okay? 1k I am just taking. Tolerance I am taking 0 0.001, okay? Let us mix up here. See this resistance I am taking 100 ohm. Tolerance same 0 0.01. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, voltage, I'm giving this value 5 volt. Or see the resistance same 0 0.001. Or you can uh, take this blank also. Okay. Now uh, you uh, you want to draw the characteristics input and output. So remember, input characteristics drawn between IB and BB. So for simplicity, I'm uh, renaming it it BBE. So we you can understand this is BBE, and click on uh, this B2, right click, and I'm writing it BC. So now it is clear. We uh, this is BB input voltage. This is BC output voltage. Now this is the level net. Okay. Suppose I am labeling IC current and I am connecting here. Same uh, escape command. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Now again the label net, I am writing IB. Okay. And connect here. So now the circuit is clear. Or you can zoom it like this. Okay. So now this is IB, BB, IC, BC. Uh, you know very well for input characteristics drawn between BB and IB, at that time BC is constant. And output characteristics drawn between IC and BC, and at that time your IB current is constant. So for this purpose, we have to do DC sweep analysis. So for this, what we have to do, simulate command, add it simulation. Here, click on DC sweep. There are two sources. One source, second source. Our first source is this input. So I am uh, writing this BBE voltage. Type of sweep that is linear. Start value 0. Uh, depends 
and you want to vary input voltage 0 to 1 volt or it increment is 0 0.1 okay and second source i am taking vc and vc i have taken the value 5 volt so start value is uh, again 0 and stop value 5 volt i am taking increment 1 in short if i want to draw the input characteristics between IB and VB, we have to fix const, uh, value of VC constant. So at a time, it will take 1 volt. Then next time, it will take 2 volt. Next time, 3, then 4, then 5. Okay. So now, run command. Okay. Now see here. Uh, if I'm zooming it for simplicity. See, if this red uh, symbol is there, it, it will show the voltage. Or if it is uh, this, it is current. So I want current. See, just click on this, uh, this node uh, with this symbol. So it will show the current. Now see, this is the voltage BBE. 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.3 up to 1 volt. So this is the input varying from 0 to 1 volt. And as per input, the current is varying. Okay, now for output characteristics, this is the voltage. So for current, uh, this symbol. Okay, now wait. Now see, this is the output characteristics. Okay, output characteristics means uh, you are checking the IC current. IC current is showing uh, by I of R1. I of R1 is your IC current. So output characteristics is, you know, like this. So this is the input output characteristics uh, using the, so this is uh, your BJT input output characteristics using LT space. Next we will do with the virtual lab. For virtual lab, type virtual lab in Google. In virtual lab, click on virtual lab and scroll down. Go to electronics and communication. Scroll down. Basic electronics lab and basic electronics lab. Click on list of experiment. In list of experiment, click on BZT commonometer characteristics. In BZT commonometer characteristics, click on simulation. Here, see BZT input characteristics. In this characteristics, remember what we have to do. Input characteristics drawn between input voltage and input current. At that time, output voltage is constant. Output voltage is constant by RH2. To fix the value of this RH2, Okay, and vary this RH1. So, by varying this RH1, and plus. this is your uh, input characteristics of BJT. Okay, now for output characteristics, what we have to do? For output characteristics drawn between IC and VC, so for this input uh, will be fixed. Input current will be fixed. So input current will be fixed by RH1. So fix the value of this and then vary this one. And the plot. So this is your output characteristics. So in this way, we have done BZT input output characteristics using virtual lab. So if you like, please like and subscribe. Keep learning. All the best.